This is a patient who comes in with pelvic pain uh, and a pelvic MRI was obtained. As we scroll down, you can see there's a lot of T2 intermediate signal within the pelvis um, and we can see the uterus over here and really uh, a lot of intermediate signal, some more simple appearing fluid, but a lot of complex appearing signal within the pelvis. And really in the left at next there, there's this round mass that uh, has multiple sort of concentric layers within it. As you scroll downwards in the cul-de-sac again, that T2 intermediate signal is very, very evident as well. As we look on the T1 weighted images without contrast, we can see that there's high T1 intensity content within some of that uh, intermediate T2 signal uh, that we saw earlier. Some of that's present with this adnexal mass as well, as well as going all the way down to the pelvis. And so really these findings um, are compatible with hemoperitoneum in the pelvis. Uh, this patient actually was uh, paid a HCG was positive, and so this finding in that context is highly concerning for an ectopic pregnancy. With all that hemorrhage, these findings were compatible with a ruptured ectopic pregnancy, which was found to be the case when the patient went to the operating room.